Hi, this is Ryan Neal from the USA Office of uh, Cowboy Sewing Machines, and today we're going to be demonstrating our CB105 model. We also call this our CB2500 model. This machine is a heavy-duty drop-feed sewing machine. It's capable of sewing uh, lighter weight materials as well as very, very heavy weight materials. This machine is one of the few machines in its class that features a fully operational reverse mechanism. This machine is designed as a low cost machine for people that are on a budget that need to have a sewing machine for sewing leather. It doesn't perform quite as well as our CB3200 series machine or our CB4500 series machine, but for those that are interested in a low cost, heavy duty sewing machine that's capable of sewing both upholstery leather and heavyweight leather, this machine is an excellent choice. It fills a, a, a void in the market where other machines wouldn't be able to necessarily fill it because they would either sew too light or too heavy. So again, um, we're going to demonstrate this machine on two layers of approximately eh, maybe four to five ounce upholstery type leather. This leather is very, very soft, very, very pliable. So we're going to go ahead and demonstrate the machine on that. And we're using our variable speed servo motor setup. So this right now is as slow as the motor will go. And you can see the stitching is very, very slow, very, very controlled. We're using a size 277 on top of a size 328 needle. And I'm just going to go ahead and make a turn here real quick. And again, another turn. So that you can see how the reverse mechanism works, I'm just going to go ahead and put the machine into reverse and back up a couple of stitches. Usually when you're sewing leather, you don't want to back up any more than one or two stitches. So you can see that uh, we backed up a couple of stitches. And again, the reason why we're only backing up two stitches is for the purpose of locking off the stitch so that it doesn't pull out of the material when we extract the material from the machine and also when the material is placed into service. So you can see here that we've got a really good stitch on the top side of the material. Also the bottom side of the material also looks very good. You can see the stitch is pulled up on both the bottom side and the top side of the material and then it's sandwiched in. And again, we're using a relatively heavy thread here. This is a size 277 bonded nylon. And this thread works really, really well for sewing this type of material. It also gives you a very, very thick thread with a decorative stitch. So now we're going to switch over to two layers of approximately 10 to 12 ounce leather. This is relatively heavy harness leather. It's, got, it, it's very, very hard uh, leather. And this would be the type of leather that would be used for sewing horse harnesses and so forth. And again, I'll, I'll place the machine back into the forward stitch. And we're going to put a little bit smaller stitch on the machine here. So. Um, because this machine, this material tends to move through the machine much better because it's very, very hard, very, very solid. I'm going to just go ahead and increase my stitch length a little bit because I can see it was putting down a little bit of a small stitch there. Go ahead and make a 90 degree turn again. And another 90 degree turn. And we'll go ahead and extract the material from the machine so you can see how it, uh, how it looks. <coughs> so you can see here, this is where I first started sewing. So the stitching is relatively small. We increased the size of the stitch so that you can see the appearance of it. Usually when people sew heavy horse harness, they're usually going for maybe five to six stitches to the inch, is usually, is usually about what they're looking for. Looks to me like we have around six stitches to the inch on this sample. So you can see on the back side of the material, uh, the thread's pulled up very, very nicely as well. There's no large loops or anything hanging out the back side. So good stitches on top and bottom with this machine. We also have a full arrangement or a full array of attachments that are available for this machine. This is the fabric style presser foot that comes with the sewing machine. Um, this, this enables you to sew uh, heavy duty fabrics, uh, maybe some felts and nylon webbing and so forth. And then we also have an optional um, 
roller foot attachment which mounts directly in the place of the presser foot. So if you can see how this would, would mount on the machine, it, it, it mounts directly where the, where the old presser foot was and it, when, when not in use you can flip it out of the way if you're, if you're wanting to take material out of the machine or whatnot. And this allows, this adds to the feeding ability for the sewing machine, it allows it to feed a little bit better for certain hard to feed materials. And then um, what we have installed on the machine right now is our leather style presser foot. This is a very, very narrow, very, very compact foot that allows you to get into very tight places. Again, this is designed for sewing this type of leather, which would be the harness leather uh, or holster type leather, where somebody needs to be able to get into a very, very tight, very, very compact place. We also offer left and right toe versions of this presser foot as well. So again, that adds to the versatility of the machine and allows you to um, get into extremely tight places. <clears throat> so again, we have the variable speed motor coupled to this machine, which allows you to regulate the speed anywhere from, you know, maybe 40 or 50 stitches a minute all the way up to around uh, 150 or 200 stitches per minute on this machine. Um, and again, once again, the machine does have the fully operational reverse mechanism, fully operational presser foot tensions, and it's got fully adjustable uh, thread tensions as well. So this is the uh, CB105 sewing machine, or our CB2500. It goes by both names, CB105 or CB2500. And I'm Ryan Neal from the USA Office of Cowboy Sewing Machines. I can be reached at neale at comcast.net or 330-692-1418. Thank you for your time today.